The Gospel of Mark is one of the four canonical Gospels in the New Testament. It is the second Gospel. The Gospel of Mark is anonymous. Eusebius, the early church history writing in AD 326, preserved the words of Papias, an early church father. Papias quoted the elder probably as saying that Mark recorded Peter's preaching about the things Jesus said and did, but not in chronological order. Therefore, Mark was considered the author of this gospel even in the first century. The Mark who wrote this gospel was John Mark, the son of a widow named Mary, in whose house the church in Jerusalem sometimes masked. Acts, the 12th chapter, verses 12 through 17. Mark was the cousin of Barnabas, Colossians, the 4th chapter, the 10th verse, and he accompanied Barnabas and Paul on part of the first missionary journey as an assistant, Acts, the 13th chapter, and the fifth verse. But at Perga, he returned to Jerusalem, Acts chapter 13, verse 13. Before Apostle Peter's martyrdom, he wrote the churches in Asia. He sent greetings from Mark, whom he called my son, in First Peter, the fifth chapter, and the 13th verse. Shortly before the execution of Apostle Paul, he asked Timothy to take Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me for the ministry. 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter, the 11th verse. After Apostle Paul's execution, Mark is said to have moved to Egypt and established churches and serve them in Alexandria. Basic structure of Mark. Prologue to the Gospel, the first chapter, verse 1 through 13. Jesus' ministry in Galilee, chapter 1, verse 14, through the 8th chapter, verse 21. On the way to Jerusalem, the 8th chapter, verse 22, to chapter 10, verse 52. A week in Jerusalem, the 11th chapter in the first verse, to chapter 16, verse 8. And lastly, the appendix, Jesus' appearances, chapter 16, verses 9 through 20. Mark's theology consists essentially of Christology and portrays an effort to viaduct the gap between the Jewish and Roman worlds. Mark achieves this by employing Old Testament language, imagery and structure and by presenting them in ways that will apprehend Roman interest. Mark's purpose seeks to manifest that Jesus is indeed Israel's Messiah and his execution by crucifixion did not negate his identity or his mission. The Gospel of Mark is a chronicle of Jesus' life, ministry, death and resurrection. The Gospel of Mark opens with a declaration of Jesus Christ as the Son of God. That Jesus is the divine Son of God is the major emphasis of his gospel. God announced it at Jesus' baptism in chapter 1, verse 11. Demons and unclean spirits 
recognized and acknowledged it in the third chapter, verse 11, and the fifth chapter, verse 7. God reaffirmed it at the transfiguration in the ninth chapter and the seventh verse. Jesus taught it parabolically in the twelfth chapter, verses 1 through 12, hinted at it in the thirteenth chapter, verse 32, and confessed it openly and without qualification in the fifteenth chapter, verse 39. Consequently, Mark's purpose was to summon people to repent and respond in faith to the good news of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Son of God, the first chapter and the first verse and the 15th verse.